Good day, students. Today we're going to build the Web Viewer app. We'll be using two new features. One will be uh, the Web Viewer component, which will allow us to go, uh, will allow us to show websites on our user interface on our screens. We're also going to add screens. First thing we're going to do is add two new screens. So we'll go to Add Screen, and we need a new screen. We'll call it the Serena screen because we want to make our uh, screens the names of all of our components relevant. So we have a Serena screen. We need to add one more screen. This will be the Steph screen. So for our first screen, we'll go back to screen one. This is sort of like our home screen. Uh, something we want to do is the align horizontal. We want to make sure that it's already aligned to center. If it's not already, make sure that it is. Second thing we need is under layout, we need a horizontal arrangement. It should come up here to the top. And we want to change the width to 75%. We need to add two new buttons, so we'll add our first button. We'll take the text off so it's not there, and we'll set the image to Steph Curry. How about that? And we want to make sure we name all of our components, give them relevant names, so we'll call the Steph button. And then we'll add another button, drag it over here, remove the text, set the image to Serena. And then we'll rename it the Serena button so that we know which button it is already. Um, the last thing we need to do here is we need to get the web viewer component. We're going to drag it right in here. Oh, that's not the right component. We need a web viewer. Click the wrong thing. Okay, so now we have the web viewer. So we're going to go for each of your screens when you're doing the programming for the Serena screen, for the Ceph screen, you're gonna do the exact same thing. So make sure that you align to center and you drag out a, go to layout and drag out a horizontal arraignment and put the buttons in and make sure to name the buttons. Um, that's what you have to do for each screen. But for now, I'm just gonna show you screen one. I'm gonna show you what the programming looks like. So when we have, uh, first of all, so say our Serena button is pressed, we want something very specific to happen. We want to open a new screen. So we can find that here under control, open another screen, and then we have to add in a text block to identify which screen we want. And this screen, obviously, we want it to be the Serena screen. It has to be spelled exactly the same way with the same capitalizations. Also, we're going to want just duplicate this a fast way. For the step button, we want this to go to the step screen. So that's how we do our, our, our home screen. I actually want to do one other thing with you um, today. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do some blocks on the Serena and step screen. So actually, I am going to go to the Serena screen, and I'm going to go back to the designer, and I'm going to build it real fast just because I need to show you a couple things. So I've got the horizontal arrangement. I want it center. Okay, we want the screen. We need this centered. And then in the horizontal arrangement, I need two buttons. So I'm going to do this real fast. So I'm going to lose that. And we're going to put in Steph. Okay. And we got to add one more button in here. Okay, there. Flip them around. Okay. I'm going to lose the text there. I'm going to call this. Uh, rather, we're going to add Serena, and we need to rename our buttons, but this time the buttons are going to be named a little differently because it's a different page. So this is going to be step button 1, and we'll rename this one Serena button 2, Serena 1, so we know which ones we're talking about. Here's the key. So we're on the Serena screen, and we're going to go into the blocks. This time, when our Serena button is pressed, you know what? I forgot one thing. We need to also add the web viewer. Sorry about that. Okay, so when, this time when the Serena button is pressed, it's Serena button one. Uh, instead of opening another screen, we're going to call the web viewer. And we're going to add a URL, a very specific URL, in a text block. And that URL. In this case, we're going to have to Google Serena Williams. 
So now we need to Google Serena Williams' WTA page to make sure that we have the, the right address for the web viewer to go to. So we can just type in Serena Williams WTA. And we can actually, we can just copy the link address so because we know where it goes. Come back in here, we'll, we'll paste it in here. Paste. Okay, so did that work? Yes, okay, so we have the WTA page. Next thing we need to put on this uh, on this page is uh, the step button. So when we click the step button, or step button one, uh, that we go back to his uh, screen. So we'll find that, open another screen, and we'll give it a name. That is the step screen. Alrighty, so we now have coded the Serena button, or rather the Serena screen. We have our home screen. It's been coded. The very last thing you need to do is you need to do the step screen, the user interface, and then program the blocks so that when you click the step button, it goes to his NBA.com page, which you can very easily Google Steph Curry NBA.com. You can click on his player page and very easily get his the URL to that page. Okay, so there you have it. Good luck to you.